Hi everybody and welcome to your English class. This is your second class, okay? I'm your teacher Angelo and you are the most intelligent students in Marianne Frostish. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's remember the vocabulary that we've learned the last class, okay? This vocabulary is about means of communication. Look, I'm going to show you one image and you need to mention the name, okay? Muestro imagen y lo nombras. One, two, and three. Let's see. Hmm. What's the name of this image? Excellent. It's a video recorder. Next. Huh. What's up, Facebook, you too? Hmm? It's a mobile phone. Perfect. Huh. What's the name? SNS or test message. Okay, next. Huh. What's the name of this image? It's a fax. Perfect. It's a Facts. Hmm. What's the name of this image? Excellent. It's a satellite dish. Perfect. Now, what's the name of this image? Congratulations, Kazid. And what's the name of this image? It's a radio. Perfect. Excellent. Very good job, students. Very, very good. Class for you. Okay, perfect. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's repeat this vocabulary, okay? Repeat after me. One, two, three. Video recorder. Mobile phone. SMS FAST Satellite Ditch Cassid Radio Okay, perfect. Now, let's remember, let's remember the next vocabulary, okay? What's the name of this? Huh? To enter to WhatsApp, to YouTube, to play Free Fire, Fortnite. It's the internet. Perfect. What's the name of this? To watch your favorite movie. It's a DVD. Perfect. What's the name of this? It's a excellent DVD player. What's the name of this image? It's a Excellent digital camera and the knee the name of this image is a webcam. Okay, perfect, very good. Okay, boys and girls, girls and boys, repeat after me, please. Internet DVD DVD player. Digital camera, webcam. Okay, very, very good job. Okay, now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's remember the last grammar, okay? Recordemos la gramática anterior. Let's see. Okay, students, the last class we learned this grammar. Present simple, okay? And remember, we use the present simple to talk about daily routines, okay? To talk about daily routines. Activities that you do every, every day, okay? Now, in present simple, we add S, ES, and IES if your sentence, solo si tu oración, start begins with the subject, him, 
the subject she and the subject it, okay? So, we use the present simple to talk about daily activities, daily routines, and we add S, E, S, I, S, if your sentence, la oración, begins a start with him, she, or it, okay? Now, in present simple, we have some rules, remember? If the verb ends, si el verbo acaba en che, S, H, Z, Z, O, Z, Z, you add ES. If you have a consonant before, you eliminate it and you add IES. Okay? Remember that rule. And to make negative end questions, we use the auxiliary do. Okay? We use the auxiliary do to make negative sentences and questions. Here we have the auxiliary do, okay, I do, you do, he do, she do, it do, we do, they do. But if your sentence, pero si tu oración tiene un he, un she y un it, you need to add es y es o i es, ¿verdad? Le agregamos. Entonces to do, change and become a does. So, to make negative sentences and questions, we use the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. Perfect. To make questions and to make negative sentences. Let's see some examples. I do not watch TV. Remember, el not for positive or negative. Negative. She does not play, play tennis, play soccer, play video games, play board games, whatever, ¿ok? Now, teacher, teacher, ¿por qué no le agrego la S y si empieza con she? Ah, because it's here, it's in your does, ¿ok? And to make questions, you use your auxiliary, duo does at the beginning of your question, ¿ok? That she play tennis? Yes, she does. Do you watch TV? Yes, you do. Does he go to school? No, he doesn't. Do they read a book? No, they do not. Okay, now, boys and girls, girls and boys, this is only a review. Solo era un repaso. Okay, now, boys and girls, Girls and boys, now pay all your attention, focus all your attention in this new video for you. Nos concentramos al máximo en la nueva parte del video. Let's see. Ok, boys and girls, this is our topic today. The bear to be. Ok, in English we have... Three verbs to be. We have the verb to be are, the verb to be is, and the verb to be am. Okay? And we use the verb to be is, am, are to give personal information. Okay? And this is the meaning in Spanish. Remember, in English, in English we have three verbs to be. El is. Am um, and are, and we use el is, am, um, are to give personal information, okay? Now, perfect. In English, we have seven subjects, el I, el you, el he, el she, el it, el we, and they, okay? Now, imagine, okay, imagine, imagine that the seven subject have get married with the three birds to be. They have get married and they will never, never, not, never get divorced. Okay? Always, always, I am. Always, you are. Always, he, she, it, is. We, they, are. Okay? They always go together. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, 
we are, they are, okay? So, now you have learned the verb to be. Hemos aprendido el verb to be. Now, let's see how we can use the verb to be in present continuous sentences. Veamos cómo lo utilizamos en present continuous, okay? Let's see. Okay, now we are here. So, our topic is present continuous sentences, okay? We use the present continuous to talk about actions that, that are happening in the right moment. Listen, huh? we use the present continuous to talk about actions that are happening in the right moment, okay? And teacher, teacher, how I make a present continuous sentence? Como hago una oración en present continuous? Easy, okay? First, you need your subject, el I, el you, el he, el she. You need your bear to be. Is, am, are. And you need to add, add, agregar, ing to the Verb. Okay, let's see some examples. Here, I have my subjects. I, he, she, it, we, they, you. Okay, then I have my verb to be. I am, he, she, it, is, we, they, you, are. Okay, so to make a present continuous, we need the subjects. We need a verb to be. Here we have the subjects. Here we have the verb to be. Then we need to add el ing. Tenemos que agregar el ing to the verb. Y acá tenemos el ing. Okay, so let's see how to make present continuous sentences. Veamos cómo se hace. Huh. Look, the sentence is I am watch or I am watching. Excellent, perfect. I am watching. He is playing or he is playing. Excellent. He is playing. Perfect. She is jump or she is jumping. She is jumping. Congratulations. Now, next. It is look or it is looking. Great job. It is looking. Perfect. We are seeing. Oh, we are singing. Ah, very good. They are walk or they are walking. Perfect. They are read or they are reading. They are reading. Perfect. Very good. Okay, remember to make a present continuous sentence to talk about the action that is happening in the right moment, acciones que pasan en el preciso momento, we need the subject pronouns, the verb to be, and the verb and you add el ing. Le agregamos el ing, ¿ok? So, let's do some exercises. For example, Tell me the subject. Dime el sujeto. I, you, he, she. She, perfect. She is, am, or are. Excellent. She is. She is read or she is reading. Excellent. She is reading. Perfect. Now, extremely, extremely easy. Congratulations. Now, Boys and girls, girls and boys. In your notebooks, listen, uh, in your notebooks, you need to write sentences about image number two, three, four, five, and six, okay? In your notebooks, you need to write a present continuous sentence using the information in image number two, three, four, five, Six. Hacemos oraciones en present continuous de las imágenes observando las acciones. Ok, perfect. Now, let's see 
son rules, ¿ok? Veamos algunas reglas. Let's see. Perfect. Rule number one and the easiest y el más facilísimo, ¿ok? Most of the verbs you only need to add ing. A la mayoría de los verbos le vamos a agregar el ing. G, perfect. For example, watch, washing, clean, cleaning, listen, listening, ¿ok? Extremely easy. Now, rule number two. If your bear ends in the letter E, se acaba en la letra A, le, letter E, you eliminate it, ¿ok? Bye, bye, eliminate it, bye, bye. And you add el agent. G, ok, for example, leave ends in la letter E, you eliminate it, bye bye, bye, and you add el agent G, life, leave, leaving, ok, right, ends in the letter E, you eliminate it, bye bye, right, writing, ok, bears with short vowels, ok, rule number three. If your bear ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, you repeat the last letter, ¿ok? Example, run, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, you repeat the last letter, ¿ok? Repeat, repetimos, look, running, double N, you repeat. ¿Ok? En your agent G. For example, swing. Consonant, vowel, consonant. You repeat the last letter. ¿Qué hacemos? Repetimos. Excellent. Repeat the last letter. Swimming. ¿Ok? Like this. Swimming. You repeat the last letter. Next rule. Rule number four. If your bear and in the letter L, in the letter L, you repeat the letter L, ¿ok? For example, travel, traveling, you repeat the letter L, repeat. Cancel, canceling, you repeat the letter L, ¿ok? Now, easy or difficult, students? Streamily, streamily. Easy, perfect. So, here you have eight verbs, okay? See, drink, eat, work, watch, cook, read, swing. You need to write present continuous sentences using these eight verbs, okay? Hacemos oraciones utilizando estos verbos. And remember the rules. Recuerden las reglas. Ok, perfect. Now, let's see how we make present continuous sentences but in negative. Similar to present simple, similar al presente simple, to make a negative sentence we use the word not. Perfect. Ok, to make a negative sentence you use el not. For example, I am not playing. He is not riding. We they are you not swimming. Okay? We use el not to make a negative sentence. So here you have a verse. Okay? In your notebooks, you need to write negative sentences using this. Verbs. Escribimos oraciones negativas con estos verbos, ¿ok? Perfect. Now, how we make present continuous but in negative, in question, in interrogative. Ok. To make a question, to make a question, ok, a question, first we use the verb to be. Para hacer una pregunta utilizamos first the verb to be. El am, el is, el are, ¿ok? Am I eating? Yes, I am. Is she running? No, she is not. 
are they cooking? No, they are not. Okay, to make interrogative sentences questions, we use the verb to be at the beginning of the question. Ali, Nisi, okay? Excellent. Now, similar to the two previous activities, you need to write questions using these eight verbs. Escribimos oraciones utilizando estos verbos en pre. Excellent in questions. Now, boys and girls, girls and boys, let's go to your books. Ok, let's go to your books. Vamos a sus libros. Ok, we are in your books on page number eight. Page number nine. Ok, now, in activity number one, boys and girls, girls and boys, we need to complete this short comic using these four words. Ok, the post, facts, two facts, two posts. Ok, uh, teacher, teacher, pero facts y two facts, two posts y the post are not similar, no son iguales, no, they are different, ok, and pay attention to the explanation, ok, the red words, this, the post and facts are nouns, ok, are nouns, and the blue ones, too fast, too post are Verbs, verbs, ok? Now, listen to the explanation. Teacher, teacher, and what is the difference between now and verbs and how you identify? ¿Cuál es su diferencia y cómo lo identificas? Excellent. Listen, ah. Huh? Now, the post and fast are nouns. What is a noun? A noun in Spanish is a sustantivo, ok? And a noun is a person, an object, or an animal, ok? This is a noun, a person, an object, or animal, ok? Now, teacher, and how do you identify a noun? ¿Cómo identificas un noun? Very easy, lo identificamos porque tiene la palabrita da, ok? Da. T-H-E, da, porque tiene el da, ok? O, because is alone, porque está solito con el a o an, ok? A cat and an, ok? Listen, uh, we identify a noun because ha, it have the word da, lo identificamos porque tiene la palabrita da, a o an, ok? Anda, a, a, Excellent. And the blue words here are verbs. Okay, teacher, what is a verb? Okay, a verb is the action that is done by a person, by an animal, or the function of an object. Okay, a verb is the action, la acción. And we identify a verb for this word. Lo identificamos porque tiene la palabrita to, ¿ok? The infinitive verb to, porque tiene el infinitivo to. For example, to fax, to, to pause, to play, to swim, to jump, to run, ¿ok? We use el to. Now, boys and girls... Girls and boys, let's listen to the audio to complete this comic with these four words, okay? One, two, and tan 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 tan. Let's listen to the audio and pay attention to complete. What are you doing? I'm trying to fax my magic potion to Lucy. She needs it. So, what's the problem? This fax isn't going through. Oh, dear. Hey, Liz, what are you doing here? I'm going to post a letter. 
Hmm, I never get anything interesting in the post. Well, this letter is for you. Okay, very good students now. I'm going to play the audio game and please complete with the post, facts, two facts, two posts. Okay, listen to the audio and complete with the correct word. One, two, and... What are you doing? I'm trying to fax my magic potion to Lucy. She needs it. So, what's the problem? This fax isn't going through. Oh, dear. Hey, Liz. What are you doing here? I'm going to post a letter. Hmm. I never get anything interesting in the post. Well, this letter is for you. Okay, perfect. Excellent job, students. Now, in activity number two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six images. Okay, now, in your notebooks, you need to follow this example to write questions and answers using the present continuous, okay? For example, okay, listen, I'll pay attention. You ask, hey, what are you doing? Number one, I'm phone or I am phoning? I am phoning a friend, okay? Easy. Remember, your answers are in present simple or in present continuous. Present con? Okay. Another example. Hey, what are you doing? He, she, or it. Tell me number three. Es un he, un she, or it. He, he is, he am, or he are. He is faxing a test. Okay. Like this. In your notebooks, you need to follow this model to write present continuous sentences about these six images here, ¿ok? Seguimos el modelo, la pregunta no cambia y armamos oraciones con las acciones de las seis imágenes en present continuous, ¿ok? Excellent. So, boys and girls, girls and boys, on page number nine, I have a song for you, okay? You need to listen, move your body, and sing with me. Escuchamos, bailamos y cantamos, okay? One, two, and... Job for me. Doctor, dancer, office clerk, what's your favorite kind of work? Minor, designer, baking cake What's the job that you can take? Barber, farmer, animal vet What position can you get? Tailor, sailor, engineer What is best for your career? Work with people, work alone Work all day on the telephone Work in an office, work outdoors Where can you work? The choice is yours Driver, diver, fighting fires What's the job of your desires? Teacher, painter, selling shoes What's the job that you can choose? Okay, perfect. I like the song, huh? I like. It's very good. Now, let's go to the next page. Look, here we have a school of the year. Okay. Interest title, la eh? School of the Air. Now, here on the bottom, aquí debajo, we have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Tenemos ocho pa. Excellent words. Listen. You need to use these words to complete this reading. Ok. Listen. Pause the video. Pause el video. Read the story and try to complete with these words. Ok. One, two, three. Perfect. Now, once that you have complete this reading with these words, una vez que han completado con estas palabras, let's listen to the audio and check if your answers are School correct. of the Air. The Alice Springs School of the Air is a very unusual school. It is a primary correspondence school for about 120 children who live in isolated areas in Australia. It covers over one million square kilometers. It is over 50 years old and dates back to 1951. The first lessons were transmitted by radio. Today, it is the largest classroom in the world and each class has its own web page. The school now uses satellite technology to have daily contact with students, home tutors and teachers. You can get an idea of how the school works by watching a lesson in progress at the visitor center in Alice Springs. Okay, very good job students. I'm totally sure that all your answers are correct. Okay, now you can repeat the audio if you want. Pueden repetir el audio si desean, okay? Now, let's go to page 11. On page 11, here we have an email, okay? Now, you need to listen the email and complete with the correct words, okay? Listen to the audio, please, okay? One. Monday, 9th of February. Got Freddy's email. He's so sweet. We're off to the beach tomorrow. Great! Tuesday, 3rd of February. It's raining and we can't go riding, so I'm blogging. A little baby lamb was born last night. She drinks a bottle of milk every two hours. Here's her picture. Saturday, 31st of January. I have a new friend. His name is Freddy and he lives in Britain. My brother says he's my boyfriend, but he's just silly. Freddy goes to school every day. He's so lucky. I only see my friends over a webcam. It's so boring. Okay, boys and girls, to complete the email, you need to copy these words first, okay? Tienes que copiar para completar. Raining, beach, raining, brother, lamp, meal, boring, lucky, okay? Raining, beach, riding, brother, lamp, milk, boring, lucky, okay? Pause the video to copy this. Okay, once that you have copied the words, let's listen again this email, okay? One, two, and three. Listen and complete. Monday, 9th of February. Got Freddy's email. He's so sweet. We're off to the beach tomorrow. Great! Tuesday, 3rd of February. It's raining and we can't go riding. So I'm blogging. A little baby lamb was born last night. She drinks a bottle of milk every two hours. Here's her picture. Saturday, 31st of January. I have a new friend. His name is Freddy and he lives in Britain. My brother says he's my boyfriend, but he's just silly. Freddy goes to school every day. 
He's so lucky. I only see my friends over a webcam. It's so boring. Okay, boys and girls, girls and boys, we are in your activity book. Okay, activity book, homework on page six. On page seven is your homework. Okay, page six, page seven is your homework. In number one, you need to complete with the noun and the verb. Okay, for example, in number one, you have pause. The pause if the noun, the verb is to pause, like this. Okay, number two, the verb is to radio. The noun is a radio. Okay, very easy. In activity number two, you need to write this question. What is number one doing? What is number two? What is number three, four, five, six, seven doing? And you need to write the answer in present continuous. She's posting a letter. She's phoning a friend like this. Okay. On page number seven, you need to return to page number 10. Regresamos a la página 10. You need to read again to complete this. Okay. Regresamos. Leemos otra vez para completar este. Okay. Easy or difficult? Extremely, extremely easy, perfect. Okay. This is all, students. Remember to study your vocabulary, practice your new grammar, and remember to do your homework, okay? Bye-bye. See you. Take care.